question is, at what age, I think you mentioned it was as early as 21, we should be getting PACS, but how often are we getting that? Right, so going back to age 21, a lot of the um, recommendations have changed over the years. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving the American College of OBGYN recommendations. There's different organizations that have different uh, recommendations. But we used to say a certain number of years after you became sexually active, right. um, but now pretty much that's the standard, age 21. Um, if you started having sex really young, um, we used to say three years afterwards, but it doesn't matter how early you start right. having sex. Um, the risk of cervical cancer is so low but before the age of 21 that that's when people should get their first pap smear. If you do it before then, you're just increasing the number of extra testing that they need to do, and it's trauma traumatizing for those young girls, so that's um, why we say 21. I'm just going to put chastity belts on my children <laughs> and we're going to call it a day. Now, <laughs> results of an abnormal pap come back, most likely you'll be advised to get a col colposcopy. colposcopy. Did I say that correctly? Colposcopy, yeah. So what is that? Yeah, so PAPs aren't perfect. That's right. the basic, easy screening test that we use. You come in for your annual. It's inexpensive, easy to do, and simple. Um, if it comes back abnormal, then we want to do a more defined test that will tell us more specifically what could be going on. Right. Um, so now we're looking at a person's cervix. Um, with a magnifier, basically. We do and have a, a photo of that. Yeah, there. Okay. So you're looking through, and okay. it magnifies, and we put a solution on the cervix, and it allows us to see a specific area that could be abnormal that needs to be biopsied rather than the pap smear, which is just sort of a general mm -hmm. sampling. Where is that, where is she getting that biopsy from? Where are you getting that biopsy from? So we like to evaluate two areas. One is on the very outside of the cervix, okay. which you can visualize, and then we usually will maybe do a blind sampling of the cervical canal, mm -hmm. uh, which is an area that you can't see.